hello all so in this video i will teach you how to how we can calculate the ccdf uh, corresponding to some uh, time domain signal so this is specially useful when you want to find the papr of that particular time domain signal so at first I'm considering that there are some QAM symbols that are in frequency domain and I assume that this line line 2 is known to you where you know how to generate some QAM symbols and then in line 3 I am converting this frequency domain QAM symbols to time domain using the command IFFT so this in line 3 the time domain signal will then be a matrix and then in line 4 I'm after taking the IFFT I'm converting that into a vector so if you have your own time domain signal you can always replace this equation so uh, line number 4 with that one okay so let's proceed from there okay then after you've done that you have to then calculate the absolute squared of this time domain signal which is given by this power peak okay and then in line 8 you calculate the mean value of this squared absolute value and then what you do is you <coughs> in the next line <coughs> sorry in line number 9 you define what the PAPR is okay and just note that at, you have to divide this element wise division you have to so thus you have to di divide this power peak vector by this power mean vector and it should be an uh, an element wise division okay and then you have this papr would again be some vector so then after doing that it's just basically how to calculate the ccdf so for that you should be using this ecdf function so ecdf function it's called the empirical cumulative distribution function okay so this calculates this function for our variable papr and it will output two variables fcdf and xcdf so fcdf will be the probability values of the cumulative distribution function whereas this xcdf would be the x values or in our case the papr values and now since we want to calculate the ccdf or the complementary cumulative distribution function what you have to do you have to know is that the cdf plus the ccdf equals one okay so in therefore you can define a new variable this fccdf so these are the probability values corresponding to the complementary cumulative distribution function or the ccdf okay and you have to calculate this one and after that it's basically plotting your cdf so you you will have to use this semi log y command where the y-axis values will be log scale so the x data would be xcdf and the y data would be the fccdf and then another additional thing that you have to do is you can limit the x length from zero to some positive value because usually there will be also some negative values but in when this de deciding or talking about papr you normally talk about only positive values and not necessarily on these negative values okay so you can limit the, this one and let's see the output of this one so after you run it this will be the ccdf that you are getting so in this case you can see the x-axis is the papr and on the y-axis it's the probability okay and this curve corresponds to the complementary cumulative distribution function or the ccdf and usually in wireless communication systems you either use this one percent probability value which is around 6.6 .6 dBs or either this 0.01 percent probability that is coming out to be 9.6 dB so this is some kind of a design criterion that it changes from uh, person to person so anyway I hope that 
by now you have understood how to plot the ccds and if you have any questions just let me know thank you